Among the all-time greats of fast food mascots is KFC's friendly old man, Colonel Sanders. Anyone who's ever bought chicken from KFC has been greeted by his goateed face, grizzled by the years of war that earned him his military title. But unlike most fast food mascots, Colonel Sanders was actually a real person who founded KFC. Grimace from McDonald's was also real, but he wasn't a person or even a creation of God. Long before Colonel Harlan Sanders started frying chicken, he was just a humble man trying to make ends meet. After a year in the military, Sanders went through a number of jobs, including fireman and blacksmith. When those two contradictory careers didn't pan out, he became a lawyer. But Colonel Sanders was a man with a bad temper, and his reputation as a lawyer was destroyed when he got into a courtroom brawl with his own client. You have to wonder if he still made the client pay him for that case. Anyways, by 1930, Colonel Sanders was running a Shell gas station in the small town of North Corbin, Kentucky. His only competitor in such a small market was the town's Standard Oil gas station, run by a man named Matt Stewart. I couldn't find a picture of him, so here's a picture of a linebacker with the same name. To attract attention, Colonel Sanders built a large sign directing travelers to his gas station. Matt Stewart didn't like this, so he would paint over the sign like a spiteful Looney Tunes character. The colonel didn't like Stewart's antics, supposedly threatening to blow his goddamn head off if he did it again. But the Stuart Sanders beef ran so deep that Stuart put his life on the line and painted over the sign one more time. Someone saw Stuart doing this and told Sanders, who immediately grabbed two of his employees and showed up to the sign armed with guns. But Stuart was armed as well, opening fire on Sanders and his employees. Insanely, one of the employees was fatally shot by Stewart in this intense battle over a sign. The colonel, living up to his military title, grabbed his dead soldier's gun and fired back at Stewart. He shot Stewart in the shoulder, wounding him enough for Sanders and his surviving man to win the battle. Because Matt Stewart had killed somebody, he was quickly sent to prison for murder, which meant that our boy Harlan Sanders had successfully eliminated his competition. With no competition left, the good colonel's gas station found more success, especially the food he had begun to sell, which eventually led to him perfecting the fried chicken secret recipe upon which a fast food empire was born. Which means if that one employee hadn't been killed, we probably wouldn't have KFC today. His death was not in vain. Colonel Sanders went on to sell KFC in 1964 for $2 million, about $19 million today. He remained the spokesman for the company, criticizing the decisions of the new owners for decades and even suing them in the 70s. He died in December of 1980 at the age of 90. Grimace from McDonald's had already died by then, but that was because he had been euthanized by the US government in the late 60s. And that was the story of the time Colonel Sanders almost killed someone over a sign. So the next time you're enjoying KFC's 11 herbs and spices, don't forget about the one human soul that gave his life to help you enjoy it. Now please consider subscribing or the ancient spirit of Grimace will banish you to hell.